personal items and all the while smoke bellowing out along the ceiling. Every year during this holiday period, over 2,000 citizens are injured and over $500 million of property loss occurs due to fires. The blaze started here at one of the holiday season's biggest traditions. The problem is this tree is way too dry, but there are other hazards. There's this open candle and the gifts that are way too close to the tree. It was as simple as lighting a candle, and then the flames took over. Don't be alarmed. This is just a demonstration by the Los Angeles County Fire Department, and it doesn't have to be your fate. It all boils down to a few simple tips. When you touch the branch, determine if needles immediately fall off that tree into your hand. Tug them just a little bit, and if they come off readily, don't purchase that tree. If the leaves fall off, that tree is dry and can easily catch on fire. The leaves on a good tree can withstand a light pull. It should also be green all the way through and should be watered daily. As you see here, a well hydrated tree is very hard to burn. For HCTV, I'm Bobeth Yates. In addition to the other tips, Southern California Edison and the Fire Department says you should have no more than three strands of lights on your Christmas tree. For more safety suggestions, go to www.sce.com. Next up, Ramona Elementary students didn't just dream of a white Christmas, they experienced it. Reporter Alex Shrek visited the winter wonderland, and here is his report. Oh, ho, ho, Merry Christmas! The holidays Merry are upon us, and Winterfest is here at Ramona Elementary. The man in the red suit asked questions, and of course, the little guys answered predictably. Okay. Have you been a good girl? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Santa wasn't the only part of the picture. Food, festivities, and a gym full of smiles filled the night. I'm going to need your help, Jerry. Can you put your finger right there? And just like a school day, Kimberly Wilkes taught. Kids learned, and moms served refreshments. Carolina Williams has been volunteering here for many years. I've been doing this since my son was in kindergarten, and he, now he's in seventh grade, seventh grade. Teachers said that the money earned will be used to buy school supplies. However, they said that the real motive is fun. We're having a great festival here. There's a lot of snow and we're having a great time. Did she say snow? Where in Southern California can you get a snowball thrown at you? <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. In Hawthorne. Children, teachers, and parents had a blast, a winter blast of the cold powdery stuff. We're just sliding down yeah. and having fun. We're snowboarding. Yes, the holidays are here, and on this Southern California night, a four-year-old named Adolfo shared his meaning for Christmas. We get to spend time with our family. For HCTV, I'm Alex Shrek. We hope you enjoyed our holiday special. We leave you now with an array of holiday lights and decorations photographer Eric Chavez found throughout the city of Hawthorne. From all of us at HCTV, have a wonderful and safe holiday season. See you in the new year.